Hi y'all, Angela Prophet here. I'm gonna go through the second row in system preferences here. The way you get to this is down here in your toolbar, your system preferences is right here. If you don't see it down here, you can tap anywhere on the screen, do command N, that brings up a new finder window. If you have a bunch of stuff here, up here in this bar, you can, I like to view my stuff in a list. That's just me. Um, but your applications are here and you're able to see all your applications right there, just as an FYI. Um, if you take five fingers and close them on the trackpad, you're gonna get to see your applications here and your system preferences are up here in the top left corner. This is how you get there, right here. So in displays, depending on if you have a large display or a TV that you might plug into, you want to make sure that your display is going to be best for Apple TV whenever you're sharing. And the arrangement, you can drag these around, you can do mirror display, make sure that's on if you do have Apple TV. It's very, very important, otherwise it's not going to look right. And so you've got color, you've got night, shift. Um, so there's a lot of cool things that you can do here. So energy saver is definitely important. You wanna tell your Mac when to sleep. I do mine every 15 minutes for the battery. 15 minutes, power adapter, same thing. Um, prevent computer from sleeping automatically when displays off, put hard disk to sleep when possible, wait for Wi-Fi access, enable power nap. So I make sure that all this is checked. Same thing for battery. Um, just make sure this is all set up correctly. For the keyboard, there's all kinds of little things that you can do. You can adjust the brightness in low light. You can turn the keyboard backlight off after five seconds of an activity, which definitely saves your battery. So if you don't need the backlight on, turn that sucker off. So the touch bar shows app controls with control strip. You can expand control strip, do the app controls F1, F2, F key. So this is really, really important. Um, you can show keyboard and emoji viewers in menu bar, whatever floats your boat. Um, this is where you set up your Bluetooth keyboard, which I do have a Bluetooth keyboard and a Bluetooth trackpad. I'm not pairing it right now, so I'm going to probably do that tomorrow. You can set up all types of text as you can see, shortcuts. Love, love, love all these shortcuts. You can set up so many shortcuts. And I love, love dictation. Definitely turn on dictation. And so I do the command key twice. Um, you can either do left or right. The main reason I do that is because the command key is between the space bar on the keyboard. Um, and so you definitely will want to turn that on. And then your mouse, I don't have a mouse, I only use trackpads here. And so you definitely wanna do all of these um, gestures. So to swipe back and forth, I use four fingers to go left or right. You can swipe between pages, um, meaning if you are on the internet and you go to your website or another website and you want to go back and forth you can do that um, with two fingers depending on how you have a shortcut set up one of my favorite things is hitting the the f3 being able to see all my screens and continuously adding projects it is freaking awesome all right, so for example, if I go to services, but I wanna, and I'm looking, 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 but I wanna go back, I just do two fingers back. And to get back to these pages, you swipe through pages with four fingers left and right. Probably the most important thing though is doing tap to click. 
tap with one finger instead of clicking on your trackpad saves so much of your trackpad as well as ergonomically that's really the best way to do it um, if you have a printer which I don't know why you would want to have a printer this day and time but you could set it up there for sound you've got all kinds of different built-in sound effects this is where you're gonna want to change your volume so if you're using like a Yeti microphone or anything like that, um, this is where you would change it all for the input and the output. Right now we're using built-in speakers and the input is the internal microphone, which by the way, it's super important. If you're doing a screen recording, you wanna make sure that internal microphone is turned on. And startup disk. This is where everything is on the Mac. So iCloud, probably one of the most important. You want to make sure that all of this is set up. Most important is find my Mac. Make sure that sucker is on. Not quite sure. I have not enabled my iCloud photo library yet. But I will be doing that soon on a different video. Internet accounts. Just wanna make sure that all of this stuff is set up appropriately. So this is our calendars. I don't care about the Game Center. Um, I'll probably try to take that away. Don't really care about that. Um, we'll activate our one of our Gmail accounts on here. And I do not know the password by heart. So I'm going to have to look it up in my 1Password app. Which, speaking of 1Password, we're going to download that 1Password right here. This is something that I jumped ahead to and I um, I went ahead and started to download some stuff. So one password it's asking me to use the, the touch ID which is awesome. It's amazing. All right, so back to here. So this is one of our Gmail accounts. And I have a two-step verification code turned on just for security purposes. So I'm going to put that in. And for this Gmail account specifically, I only care about the mail. I don't want the calendar, I don't want the notes, I don't want anything else. Um, on iCloud, I do want the mail. This is how I sync my contacts. I do care about my calendars. The reminders, Safari, Notes, Keychain, super important. Um, this is our calendar, our main calendar. This is my personal Gmail. So basically, guys, I did not do anything but log in with my Apple ID. And because I have my stuff pretty well organized on my other computers, it is amazing to just be able to put all of, like, all this information is pretty much all there. Which is just, oh, it's amazing. And then this is our company email. So we only want to do that. 
Don't need to do anything there. All right. So wallet and Apple Pay, I love that I can add my card, add my Touch ID. I'm actually not going to do that right now. It's already done on my phone. App Store, we want to automatically check for updates, download new available updates in the background, install app updates, we want that, install Mac OS updates. I like to be asked first. Um, let's see, automatically download, I've heard of Mac. Your son is a problem. Okay, automatically download apps purchased on other Mac computers. Yep, that's great. Software updates. Ah, so it's already due for an update. It's going to wait until I get done doing some of this other stuff. So the network, I am on Wi-Fi for, it's called Productivity Therapist. So I've got that all set up. And I want it to be automatic, automatically connect to Wi-Fi. For Bluetooth, I have several Bluetooth items that I'm going to set up later. For extensions, this is where if you use one password or anything like that, you're definitely going to want to add those things here. Um, so use Apple and third-party extensions to customize your Mac. So you can pick all of these things or don't pick all of these things. Um, I don't care about Flickr or Aperture or those other things for the day. Really don't care about stocks that much. Um, I do care about World Clock, Calculator, Social. I don't know what now playing my friends. iTunes is important. Select widgets for today's view and notification center. Guys, this is your notification center over here to the right hand side. Oh, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> um, so do not disturb on and off. So this is the calendar. Weather, reminders, world clock, calculator, social stuff. Pretty stinking cool, right? Sharing. Um, if you're going to screen share, you want to be sure that your screen sharing setting is on. Anyone may request permission to control my screen. Um... That could be important. File sharing, printer sharing, remote login, remote management, all this stuff has to be turned on if you're going to remote into your computer. Um, so I'm going to name this computer 2018, MacBook Pro 2018, because I'm getting to the point of where I just have too many stinking computers. Go back here. We already already enabled Touch ID um, when unlocking the map. Apple Pay, iTunes, super cool. Users and groups. It's only me for this one. I don't have kids, so I'm not really worried about parental controls for Siri. Um, Keyboard shortcut, hold command, space. Let's change that. Um, press function. Oh, so I guess you have to press the... Let's see. Ah, so that worked. Internal microphone, English, American, voice it back off. Looks great. Voice over is already off. All right, I love date and time because I like to know several things. Um, so, yeah, we can set the time automatically, totally set date and time formats. We're all good with that, but here's what I like. Set time zone automatically using current location. I like that. And then the clock. Um... I like for it to announce the time on the hour, just so I know. And then 
It says Friday, May 18th. And I don't really care about the day of the week up there. I can go down here. I know it's May 18th. Um, I don't know. Maybe having the day up there is nice. Um, show a.m. p.m. Use 24 hour clock. Flash the time separators. Display the time. Okay. Digital. Yeah, I really like this. Um, I think Alex is the voice that I usually use. And then I'm going to close this down here so no other changes can be made. And then accessibility is pretty important. Um, so a couple things about accessibility is for speech, um, announce when alerts are displayed, and then speak selected text. So for me, I do um, command S and hit OK, which basically, let me show you what it does. So like you can highlight text. Oh, maybe you can't. <laughs> Let me just type a note. Everything you click on. Um, this is just a test. So you can highlight it and hit. This is a test. So it'll read to you, which is so cool. Well, all my stuff is coming in from my other account. So you definitely want to make sure that like your dictation stuff is set up. That can save you a ton of time. Make sure Siri is set up. Your keyboard. Which we already talked about this a little bit. Mouse and trackpad. This is super, super, super important. So under trackpad options, you're going to want to do Enable dragging with three finger drag. This means you can take three fingers and drag all your windows around and it saves so much time. And I don't use switch control. That wraps up accessibility. If you found this video helpful, please share it with your friends, like and follow us. Be sure to check back for more great videos to grow and expand your creative passion. And I hope that you guys have a great day.